to Supriya Shinet, who also joins us uh, at this stage. Uh, Supriya, you know, you can still argue that these are early stages, but, you know, it, it is, uh, time is uh, going on. Madhya Pradesh, one would suggest that the, this is a state where the Congress expected to do very well. Are you disappointed at seeing some of the trends so far? So let's start the day on a more positive note and let's talk about what encourages us than disappointment first up. So uh, thank you for having me on the show. And I think I would first want to explain how I read this uh, these numbers so far. I still think we should wait up until 12 uh, noon for the leads to be clarified. At, you know, these are early rounds. Uh, I think us resting a state from a regional party like the BRS is huge news. So everybody, and remember the regional parties, uh, and the emergence of regional parties is a function and is was done at our cost. So I think winning Telangana, the way we are winning it, hands down, I will still wait for the, uh, you know, final leads from there by 12 noon is huge. And I think that's the big headline. I think Chhattisgarh, where the BJP employed every possible dirty trick is is big encouragement the fact that we've already crossed the halfway mark there and we are in a comfortable position is very very big i think the pro incumbency there is talking aloud i will also speak about rajasthan even though right now it looks like we are trailing i will say the fact that this is perhaps one of the best elections that we fought for a second time in a row in rajasthan this is one of our best performances people who are dissing us at 20 or 30 will be in for a surprise and i do believe that the tide will completely turn in rajasthan i'm still very very hopeful and about that and what about madhya pradesh where the, the gap is is significant at this stage uh, vishnu i have spoken about three states i will come to the fourth be rest assured don't jump the gun so i am very hopeful no, 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 about I'm not rajasthan jumping the gun. Yeah, so I'm very hopeful about Rajasthan turning and I'm also very happy with the fact that our schemes have worked. This vote is for our schemes. This vote is for the governance that we put there. As far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned, again, I say I will wait for the final tally. But yes, Madhya Pradesh is, is, is disappointing as far as these numbers are concerned because it was ripe for change. Uh, it was ripe for, uh, you know, a, a big margin for us. That hasn't happened. Uh, it's almost 130 versus uh, 100 for us right now. Uh, let's also wait for the final tally there. But I think Madhya Pradesh is disappointing. However, there is one more thing that I would like to read into Madhya Pradesh. And I think that's a question more for the BJP than for the Congress. How happy is Mr. Modi going to be by winning Madhya Pradesh? Because that does put Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan in a very, very strong, commendable well, position. Well, I would suggest, so, Supriya, anybody who wins that. any state would be happy.